Why yes, Jasper can actually help you write creative stories that'll engage your audience, regardless of where your audience may be. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the creative story templates so that you can get a good idea about how they work and you can follow along with me in this nice little demo. So if you're in the template section, if you scroll down a little, you might be in a different area here, but as you can see, creative story, write wildly creative stories to engage your readers. I already have a couple windows open at the top or tabs, so let's go to those. In case you're new to Jasper, welcome. It's very easy to use. On the left side, we have our section where we're gonna enter our plot, our tone of voice. I like witty, let's put that in there. Outputs is going to be results in terms of how many do you wanna generate at a time. But let's take a look at the plot. James was put on unemployment, so he decided to take matters into his own hands by starting his own online business. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, though, as just about everyone told him that it was a bad idea. True story, by the way. Uh, let's see what we get. Let's generate that AI content. Now, before I continue, I do want to let you know that it's nearly impossible for Jasper to know like your life details or someone else's story of details. So a lot of this will be kind of made up, obviously, but sometimes it goes in the right direction or, you know, it gives you ideas of how you can continue on. So keep that in mind. Okay. James was unemployed and knew that he needed to do something if he ever wanted to get his life back on track. So he did some research and found out that starting your own online business was a great way to make money. He told his family and friends about it, but they all warned him that it was a bad idea. They said that he would never be successful and that it would be a waste of time. That sounds very familiar. James decided to do it anyway and started his own online business. It wasn't easy in the beginning, but with hard work and determination, James was able to make his business successful. That is, uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty true. I've been doing this since 2012-ish, maybe a little bit before around that era, but uh, I like that one. Not bad. Obviously, when it's your story, you know how to fact check it, right? So that's going to be up to you when you do your creative story. So James was unemployed and he needed to find a way to make some money. So he decided to start his own online business. He knew it was a risk, but he was determined to make it work. Unfortunately, just about everyone told him it was a bad idea, but James refused to give up and he worked hard to make his business a success. Eventually, James's hard work paid off and his business became successful. He was able to provide for himself and his family and he proved all of those naysayers wrong. Take that naysayers, okay? Uh, not bad for that creative story. Let's move on to one more. This is just kind of a random one. John was feeling more burnt out than ever. He wore all the hats for his online business and he was looking for a light at the end of the tunnel when it came to seeing the success that he craved so much. Once again, we have a witty voice and let's generate that AI content. All right, so here we go. Starts off very similar but continues on in a different way. Okay, John was feeling more burnt out than ever. He wore all of the hats for his online business and was looking for a light at the end of the tunnel when it came to seeing the success that he craved so much. That was obviously my same sentence, but it goes on. The grind was real and he often found himself wondering if it was all worth it. One day, John's worst nightmare came true. His website crashed, taking with it years of work and investment. John felt like he had been punched in the gut. He didn't know what to do. Everything he had built was gone, or so he thought. In reality, his website had only crashed because Google penalized him for using Black Hat SEO tactics with some quick changes to his blah, 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 and a cutoff, okay? Sometimes it will do that, so you're gonna have to kind of go there and use your imagination. With some quick changes to his uh, SEO ways, he quickly updated his website, everything was good, and then he rode off into the sunset, okay? <laughs> Whatever it's going to be. Not bad. <clears throat> John was feeling more burnt out than ever. He wore all the hats for his online business and was looking for a light at the end of the tunnel when it came to seeing the success that he craved so much. Okay, once again, what I wrote. In fact, he had been working on this business for years and it still wasn't where he wanted it to be. He decided to take a break from work and go on a walk around his neighborhood. That took a different turn. As he walked, he noticed how beautiful everything was and how lucky he was to live in such a great place. Suddenly, an idea popped into his head. Why not start a blog about his neighborhood? He could share all the interesting things that were happening there with the world. Okay, and then it, obviously you can continue on from there. So those are just examples of creative stories. Sometimes it will. I feel like I could have wrote this a little bit better because Jasper liked to cling on to this. Like he wore all the hats for his online business and did everything, period. And then another sentence talking about he wished he would be able to see some success because it looks like it just kind of took this and, you know, used that because I could tell by the way I wrote it. That probably wasn't even a great sentence in the way I wrote it, so I can't really blame Jasper for that, but that's an example of what you can utilize for creative stories. It's fun if you put your own in there and see like the spin that it gives it. A lot of times it will kind of hammer home on more of what you're talking about, which is good. That means there's less chance for Jasper to go off the rails, because if it talks more about 
how John was feeling more burnt out. They're going to talk about maybe some of the symptoms of doing that, wearing too many hats, working too much, working on the wrong things, not seeing any results, and so on and so forth. So aside from that, when Jasper kind of has to guess, that's when it's going to differentiate and go in a different direction, like talking about blogging about his neighborhood and how beautiful the birds are and so on and so forth. But anyway, yes, Jasper can write some creative stories for you. I will put a link for a free trial for them down below. If you want to check it out, feel free to. You get a bonus that comes along with that, which is always nice. Write some creative stories, use plenty of their other templates, and see how it works for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you soon.